Hey guys, it's Chantel. I hope you guys are doing well today. At the beginning of this month, I went on a short trip to Montreal with my boyfriend, Kaden. Uh, no, it's not a really super crazy destination that's overseas or anything fancy like that, but it was a trip that was very special to me because it was our first trip together and the first one that we both kind of just planned ourselves. We just went and it really felt like a vacation. No, I didn't vlog the entire trip, but I did bring this and these and put together this little guy. So this is my first ever travel art journal. It is basically Montreal from my perspective in the form of doodles, notes, photos. This idea was heavily inspired by Minnie who has an art and lifestyle channel on YouTube and her videos basically inspired me to get back into drawing on a regular basis. Art was something I've always loved since I was a kid. I just remember drawing everything I liked, my favorite characters in movies, drawing my family members, anything. I thought this would be a good idea to get back into drawing and painting because I do really miss that. Yes, I think I'm good at drawing. I don't think I am amazing. I don't think what I put in here is a masterpiece, but it was fun. This is for me. This is for me to look back on. You don't have to be very good at drawing and painting and making sure proportions are right and make sense because I totally suck at that. You do need to be able to do all that in order to create your own art journal. And yeah, this is different than taking digital photos of everything and putting it into an album that stays on your computer. I like the idea of analog things and having a physical copy. It feels very satisfying having this. And as you can see, there's a lot of content, which is why I had to clip this thing here to keep it all together. I mostly use my Muji pens to doodle when I was there. I also brought my Lamography fisheye camera and got the photos developed when I came back from my trip. And I also added watercolor and acrylic on top of everything. So here's how the trip went. On the very first page, I just stuck the contact sheet of the roll of film that I got developed. I like how it kind of looks like a summary of the trip. I poorly doodled the metro line of Montreal. At the side, I just kept uh, the metro passes that we used. We mostly either walked or used the subway to travel to places. Since we were there for a full weekend, it was very beneficial for us to get the weekend pass. We stayed at an Airbnb in Le Plateau and it was a very nice neighborhood. The place that we stayed in was very cozy. From our window, there is a garage door that had graffiti on it and this cat doodle was on it, so I decided to stick it there. I think right off the bat, one of my favorite things about the neighborhood is the architecture. It's so pretty and colorful. So our first night there was pretty chill. We just got there and did some grocery shopping and um, we ended off the night going to this giant orange place and I couldn't really figure out what the name was until I went home and googled it. Apparently it's like the place to go at nighttime because it's open pretty late. So their orange julep beverage isn't just like just regular orange juice, it actually tastes like an orange creamsicle. So something more on the sweeter side. There's a lot of little interesting things uh, walking around in our neighborhood. One of them that we walked by a lot was this little free library. And I really wanted to take something back from it, but all the books were in French and seemed not that interesting. <laughs> when I told a lot of my friends I was going to Montreal, I asked them, where should I go? And first thing that they all said was Old Montreal. It reminded me a lot of Paris when I went a couple years ago. Really like the cobblestone streets, although they were pretty difficult to walk on. They have a lot of like horse carriages and little cute like boutiques and shops. Yeah, we actually didn't really know where to go when we got there, so we just basically explored the area. We kept walking until the cobblestone ended and we were just like, okay, let's turn back and go the other way. My friend also told me to go get crepes there, so we went to a cafe called Muro Crepe. 
It was very small and cozy. We were actually the only customers at the time. So on this page, I just wrote some things that I wanted to remember about it. They were playing some really good house music. Their savory crepes were delicious and they served their water and they used big glass bottles like how they do in Paris. So I like that about it. We found so many things in Montreal literally just by wandering and exploring the different streets. And it was really cool because it seemed like something was always going on. We did see some form of circus improv performance in the streets. And it was really cool because it was just a whole crowd of the circus performers doing things around the crowd and it was really funny. We got a pretty good view of it because we were actually walking out of a store that was on the second floor and we watched a lot of it from up above. Okay, so moving on to probably my favorite part of the trip are the cat cafes. Fun fact, I am allergic to cats and we decided to go to two cat cafes. But it's okay because they were awesome and I was fine. So the first one we went to was called Happy Cat Cafe. I like the structure of the entire cafe. Like they had like this overhead bridge and different stairs and things that the cats could climb. And I guess because there are cats everywhere and everyone's happy to see the cats, everyone is just in an automatic happy mood. And I think there should be more of these everywhere. So they actually had pumpkin spice lattes, which I'm so happy about because it's generally a seasonal flavor. And places that have it year round make me so happy because it is one of my favorite latte flavors. On all the tables, they included a little pamphlet of all of their cats their names and like what they like and whatnot. However, there were specifically three cats that weren't on the pamphlet and it's because there are these kittens who were the most active out of the bunch. They were fighting each other, jumping everywhere on everyone's tables, constantly trying to eat our food, and it was the cutest thing ever, so not mad about that. And I was not afraid to go and play with them because I love animals, even though I'm allergic to cats. And I only sneezed like twice, so we're all good. The second one that we went to is called Cafe Venosa. The cool thing about the place is that their menu was 100% vegan. I'm not vegan, but I thought that was cool anyway. Shout out their uh, blonde brownie and also their Earl Grey tea ice cream, which was awesome. So in Cafe Venosa, they didn't have little kittens running around jumping on tables. However, their regular sized cats all did. Yeah, so these cats still did try to eat our food and try our lattes. There was one cat that was asleep pretty much the entire time we were there. So I took that opportunity to try and doodle him. But they were so cute. I think our favorite one was this all black cat who literally came to us and sat on both of our laps. So as we wandered around Montreal to find places to eat and places to shop at, I tried to keep a business card of most of the places so then I can stick them in here. Overall we went to different crepe places. We did a lot of music hunting. I was actually able to find the record store that I went to in Montreal last year. As we got closer to it, I recognized it because on the outside of their store, they had uh, different records pasted onto the brick wall. So this time I brought back Stevie Wonder and Marvin Gaye. Another thing that we definitely want to check out while we were in Montreal was their Nintendo festival. And I say festival because the posts that I found online about it and all their dates and locations said it was a Nintendo festival, but it turned out just to be this Nintendo tent where people would get to try out the new DS and different games, which is still very fun, but you know, I was expecting a festival with like Pikachus and whatnot, but there was a Mario and we did take a photo with him, so that kind of counts, I guess. So we just checked out the tent for like maybe like five, ten minutes. We we're just like, okay, now what? So we walked around and we saw this huge spear thing that looked like Disney World. Um, so we go to it and it turns out it's an environmental museum. The prices didn't seem too bad, so we we're just like, okay, why not? Let's go. And I was more interested in the visuals of things rather than like 
the scientific stuff because I that I don't get those things. So I just decided to like doodle some things that I saw. One of the coolest exhibitions we saw was this 360 video presentation called Design the Future. It raised awareness of our environment and climate change. Uh, so the video projection was circular and in the center there's a pole that also had video projections on it. So it started and ended with a sort of campfire atmosphere. Another highlight for me while we were there was the exhibition room called Spirit of the Forest. It had this huge wall with a video projection of just like a waterfall in nature that was on loop. So almost like the fireplace channel that people put on. It was very calming and peaceful in that room. Me and Kaden were the only ones there and all you could hear was like the waterfalls. So we decided to do some contact improv while we were the only ones there. And yes, by the way, we were both dancers. We actually took advantage of some of the cool projections that were going on to film some fun stuff. So at the very end of everything, we all got stickers. And a quote that they really emphasized on and that really stuck to me was, there are no passengers on Spaceship Earth, we are all a crew. So therefore, take care of the Earth, because we only got one. So that is that. It was an amazing trip and very much needed. And to be honest, I don't think that I'm that busy and that overworked. It was nice to really step out of the routine of things. I really didn't realize how much I needed this trip until I actually left. With that being said, don't be afraid to take a break every once in a while. Go on a short trip vacation. It doesn't have to be too far. I think physically leaving and taking a pause of your routine from things, you're able to see everything you're doing from the outside. From there, you realize what's really important to you and come back with a new perspective, hopefully. So hopefully every time I look back on this, that will always refresh that feeling. I hope you enjoyed seeing Montreal from my perspective and by process getting back into art and making it more of a regular thing because it is a part of my life. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye! And it feels... There's a bus behind me. Poppy. It's fairly easy to use. It looks a little bit complicated because everything. They're orange juice. This little free library. Oh my god. Why must you be so loud, bug? Thank you. It was very much needed. Oh my god. Bugs are driving me crazy. Damn it, damn it. No, go away. Am I interrupting? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs>